Oh, hello, this way. Hello, how are you? Okay, what is your name? Jessica. Jessica. Hi, Jessica. I'm Penny's brother, Gary. Can you tell us about... Mr. Marshall, have you worked with any of the Oscar nominees this year? This year, uh, Bruce Dern and I did a movie with years ago. I was acting with him. And uh, who were the other ones? Uh, Meryl, I never did. I'm going to work with her, her, her soon. But uh, they're all good. They're all uh, very good. Matthew, I almost worked with. But Julia Roberts, I worked with a few times. So we, we get along well with her. Is there any experience that you had with Julia or with any of the others that was really memorable that you'd like to share? Well, I just direct them. I don't talk about them because... Uh, the Inquirer never gave me any money, so I never talk about that. No, they're all nice people. Julia's happily married, three kids, everybody found love. Ann Hathaway married, they're all married. So uh, I, happy, I wait to see when they meet the guy. Sometimes they bring him to me to check him out. I, I do meet a lot of stars. I just, I, Ashton Kutch is a good friend of mine, he's in Gage to Mila Kulis, so I, I know that way. When celebrities come to you to check out their mates or their spouses or their significant others, what criteria do you judge them by? Mostly my wife. My wife comes with me. She's not in show business. She's a nurse, and she usually got a good reading of how they're getting along. I think they look great together. But uh, we usually have dinner, and we can usually tell if everybody's the right one. I, and uh, Hathaway married a wonderful fellow, Adam, is her husband. I remember when we first met, I said, what does Adam do? And Anne said, he's a poet. And I said, Anne, I would keep working myself, but he's now a screenwriter and they're doing great together. Can you tell us, Mr. Marshall, about one of the most influential people in your life? I don't know if yet. Well, you have probably heard him. Carl Reiner was the first one who helped me when I came to Hollywood. Helped me write the Dick Van Dyke show. I wrote on that for three years. And I, another one was Lucille Ball. She, uh, I didn't do Desi and Lucy, but I do the Lucille Ball show for three years. And she taught me how to do physical comedy. So they were great influences, Carl Reiner and, and Lucille Ball. Can you tell us any snippets of any conversations you've had with Lucille Ball? Any of those wonderful moments that you and her both shared, talking about talking shop, talking about physical comedy? Not really. We just talked and I wrote for her and she was very brave. Very, very brave. Uh, I remember I wrote a scene where she goes to a formal ball on roller skates. So they were rehearsing it and she came in and she slid and almost and actually bumped into a weight and fell down and I thought I killed Lucy there goes my career but I got there and I, I helped her up because they were all worried and I said I'm so sorry what a stupid thing I wrote and she said no you I, I it was my fault I'll do it again it's funny keep writing and I worked with her so she was a very fearless lady would try anything and that's why she's on to this day. Speak, speaking of fear, what do you do personally when you encounter a situation where, where you have to be brave? Can you walk us through what makes you brave? What makes me brave is meeting a lovely girl like you and saying, I have to leave because they're bothering me over there. Norby Walters has something for me to do. So I'm taking... A very brave step in saying thank you very much for the interview. Good to see you. My real name is Masciarelli from Abuche. Oh, grazie, tanti grazie. Gary Marshall is really Italian. Uh,